How's it going guys? Cornering Maker here. Today we're going to be working on a Texas quarter. I'm going to be making a ring out of this. First thing we got to do is punch a hole in it. Or put it in here. And get it going. Looking pretty good. No, it's just supposed to uh, bend it, shape it a little bit, fold it, I guess you could say. We're going to fold it a little bit more here. <laughs> Don't worry, there's, there's plenty of other quarters out there. I'm sure you'll be able to get your hands on one. the screen guys now this one right here is actually a gold plated Morgan dollar so I can do dollars for sure
Make a quarter out of a ring. Now that's a trick. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. It's called a ring stretcher. It also has this little reduction plate down here. So you can make the, uh, the band smaller. What I'm doing is evening up these two sides. So this side's a little thinner than that one. We're going to make the band nice and flat. Using this reduction plate here. Doesn't that look nice? Well, if anybody out there in TikTok world would like to get a ring made out of a coin, you can visit my website, coinringmaker.com. It's linked on my profile. You can also tap the little gold chain at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to go ahead and make one more of these. If you want to hang around and watch, you're more than welcome. Yeah, uh, it's very similar to penny smashing machines you might find at amusement parks, museums. There's our next Texas quarter. For sure, check it out. This thing auto centers the coin. That allows me to get a really nice punch right in the middle of it. Go ahead and time myself on this one. See how long it actually takes. It says it's 10.05 right now. Let's say I started at 10.04. And we'll just see how long it takes to make this thing. This is called a deburring tool. Uh, you can find it at a hardware store, 
that's where I usually get mine. They're also on like Amazon and stuff like that. Uh, it's just a curved blade that rotates around real nice. I'm pretty sure plumbers use it to clean up pipe. But I use it to clean up the inside of my coins. Yes, it is legal. Uh, if you've ever seen a penny smashing machine, it's uh, very similar legally to that. So what I'm doing is I've taken a Texas quarter and we're slowly but surely making it into a ring like this. So the center punch, I make a couple different things out of them. And that's just the part of the coin that I have to punch out right here. I'll show you that in a little bit. But the scraps from the deburring tool, um, there's not a whole lot I do with them. When I'm working with silver, I do save it, but I haven't done anything with it. It's just kind of chilling in its own little container. There we go, we got that folded nicely. Now I just got to sand this cut edge. You can see there's some lines on there. We want to smooth that out. Yes, silver is softer than copper, but um, a lot of junk silver, the older silver coins are 90% silver and they're actually really tough. So this is an example of that. It's a Morgan dollar I gold plated, but yeah, they're, they're a lot tougher than just fine silver. Silver quarter uh, melt value right now, I think, is around four dollars. I mean, you might be able to sell it maybe like eight, depending on its condition. Have I ever made one with a one ounce gold Liberty coin? Not a one ounce, I have done a quarter ounce uh, American Eagle. That's pretty cool. I'd definitely be willing to do a one ounce gold. Coin. I just gotta find the right customer. Reversing inflation, that's right. I've been doing this for about three years. Secret Service is the ones uh, who does handle it. Uh, 1964, yeah. That's that's worth about melt value. Uh, the price of silver has gone down about a dollar this week. Uh, the biggest ring I can do is a one ounce silver round. This is an example of what one of those looks like. This is a Britannia. I have quite a few one ounce fine silver round options. American Silver Eagles, lots of different designs. You can see all my stuff on my website. But yeah, this is a, it's a pretty thick. I, I can do size 15. I can't do it with quarters. Uh, size 13 is this, the largest I can do with quarters. But anything bigger than that, half dollars, dollars, one ounce rounds like that, 
Uh, I can do size 15. Uh, you can't fraudulently alter money. So if I was uh, like taking pennies and making them look like dimes and trying to spend them, that would be illegal. Um, but since I'm using it for art purposes and making jewelry out of it and not you know, deceiving anyone, you clearly are going to get a ring if you order from me. Uh, no laws broken. So, that's two Texas quarter coin rings. Let's do another one. Was it 10 minutes? Nice. That's not too bad. So, I'm talking with some people about doing my first live craft show. And I'm trying to figure out if I should make a bunch of stuff ahead of time or if I should try and make stuff there. Uh, Tennessee size seven, I can do that. I have two options for the state quarters. Uh, you can get copper clad, which is just the regular quarter. Um, those can turn your fingers green because they are made of copper. I also have 90% uh, silver state quarters. Those are $100 and they won't turn your finger green. Uh, the copper clad ones are 25. Uh, tap on the gold chain or the link on my profile. What do I do with the rest of the quarter? So this part right here is called the center punch. And uh, you can get this just as it is, as an add-on with your ring. You can also get it as a keychain and um, a necklace, as well as like a tie pin or a pin you can put on your hat, that kind of thing. So there's, there's quite a few options and those, those are just uh, able to be added on uh, when you place your order at coinringmaker.com. Do I still need to save you my address for the food stuff? Because at least I don't have to worry about that. No, there's a pack in the car. They're in the center console, I think. They're in my pocket. Thanks, guys. Uh, center punch into earrings. The problem with that is I need two coins to make earrings. So since I made two rings, I can make a set with this. But if somebody just orders one ring, um, I have to use a whole nother coin to make that earring. And it just really messes inventory up rather quickly. I tried it. <laughs> it just didn't work out so great. Looks like I just sold a state quarter necklace, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you're in here and you place that order, let me know. And tell me what uh, what state you picked, and we can make it. So everyone asks for a center punch. Some people do, some people don't. Uh, I think the keychain option is the most popular. But I've I've done I've sold all I think four versions. Uh, when I first started, I spent about two hundred dollars on like really basic tools. And I had to form and shape my rings on a mandrel like this. And I would hit and uh, hammer on it to shape it. But over time, um, I have got more tools, better tools that make it easier. I've probably spent at least $2,000 on tools at this point. 
Uh, is it hard to find all the requested states? It, it takes some time. But once you get all 50, you got them. It's all about staying organized, I suppose. Let me see here. Mr. Rush, you said, it's me, Arizona. Sun loss is just the punch coin only. Don't need the punch. Okay. Did I make my 2000 back? Yes. So since I started, I, I set up a pretty basic uh, plan for any income that I make. So one third gets set aside for taxes. One third goes to me and one third goes back into the business. So I'm uh, able to buy new tools and different types of coins. You know, whatever I really need for the business, I, I have a pretty steady flow of cash back into it. With that rule of thirds, it, it makes things really easy. Uh, I haven't melted down any shavings yet, but I plan to in the future. No, I didn't make the ring on my thumb. Uh, I did make this one, though. Uh, if y'all want to check out more of my work, you can tap this gold chain down here by the chat. Used to make these out of spoons and time. Uh, spoons take take a while to get the job done. No doubt. So I could show you my collections. It's not super substantial, but it's also not nothing. Over here. So this is my 90% silver shavings and center punches that weren't purchased. And this is my fine silver shavings. So these aren't super big, but they are pretty much full. But this is, this is about two years of saving scraps, so it, it really takes quite a bit of time to even save that much. I'm sure it'll be worth it though. Someday I'll, I'll melt that down and make something cool out of it. It's pretty cool. It's called a ring stretcher. It's very useful.
<laughs> it's the eye roll for me. That's great. Arizona. Do North Carolina quarters come in 90% silver? Yes. I uh, have almost every state in 90% silver. I think I might not have New Jersey at the moment, but I should have everything else. And those can be found uh, on my website, which is linked on my profile. You can also tap the gold chain down here. I'd love to make wedding bands. That's totally, like, my favorite thing to do. They're my favorite. So for this necklace, I used a bigger punch. Uh, how can you tell if they're 90% silver? That's a good question. So, on a regular quarter, like the one in my hand, if you look at what's called the reeded edge, that's just the side of the coin, uh, you can see the sandwiching. You can see the copper very clearly on the side of the quarter. Now, with 90% silver quarters... If you look at the edge, it's going to be silver. Very clear way to tell the difference. I can do uh, two 2002 wedding bands. So 2002 is going to be a state quarter year. So there's going to be five different states that were made uh, that year. Uh, you'll just need to look up which state you want to pick and then order that uh, particular ring. Yes, I have Pennsylvania. I have all 50 states in copper and 90% silver. Cowboy hats are cool. I actually made a whole bunch of cowboy hats last night. I got quarter cowboy hats, dime cowboy hats, penny cowboy hats. I get most of my 90% silver quarters from eBay. All right, so now we're gonna punch a big old hole in this quarter and make a pendant for a necklace. I'm pretty well stocked up on coins at the moment. Appreciate the offer. Look at that. You sure you don't want that center punch, Rick? It's pretty cool. Y'all check out the website. The link is on my profile, coinringmaker.com. You can use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. If you want to take a quick screenshot of this, save it for later. Do it to it.
All right. Just clean up that sharp cut edge there real quick. Thank you for the rose. This is called a deburring tool. It's a curved blade that rotates. Really good for cleaning out the inside of circular pieces of metal. Let's see here. I have never cut myself with it. No, it's not illegal. Well, there we go. Arizona quarter necklace. I'm going to polish this up, clean it up a little bit more before I send it out. But that's all you want, right? Just like that? Go ahead and punch a hole. Okay. It's only illegal to deface money uh, if you do it fraudulently. So if you're doing it with the intent to deceive someone on its face value or rareness. Let's see if we can get this in frame. didn't punch through all the way because that, that piece wasn't up. There we go. Uh, what do I make those out of? Um, pretty much whatever coin you would prefer. I have four different types of metal. Uh, all different types of coins. So you can, you can really just kind of mix and match. Uh, on the website. She can get the one she wants, you can get the one you want. Uh, 1988, I can do that. Uh, it would be copper clad though. I don't have anything uh, silver from 1988. Five. Yeah, I have 1985, but again, that's going to be copper. Uh, for silver, uh, it stops at 64 and starts again at 92. I do have a 90% silver. Never mind. 
Uh, 86 would be copper, yes. Dude, it's, it's, it's a nice ring. I really like that Morgan. It came out cool. For sure. Yeah, I can do 64. Um, I actually have a, a 64 half dollar right here. variety of sizes uh, quarters I can do size 4 to size 13 so I've got uh, quarters and half dollars for 1964 that are 90% silver I really like the half dollars especially uh, as a dude's ring but the, the quarters will come out really good too easy to polish up and get nice and shiny it's a good looking ring So I don't work on like Sacagawea or Golden Dollars because they have like five different metals in them and I, I worry that uh, people might have an adverse uh, reaction to it. What kind is the gold one? You just show it with silver at the same time. So this is a 90% silver Morgan dollar that I gold plated for fun yesterday. And uh, you can already see that the plating is coming off in places. So that's one reason I don't actually offer this on my website. It doesn't last very long. Uh, what about half dollar silver? No, again, uh, the only uh, silver half dollar from like 1960, 70, 80 is the 64 half dollar. Uh, they're 150. I do have some stuff from like the 40s, but those are Walking Liberty half dollars, and those are 90% silver. But the only 90% uh, silver Kennedy half dollars that were in circulation were 64. Uh, so there's nothing from the 70s or 80s. It's really tricky to find silver coins uh, from that time period. Yeah, no problem. So the only gold coin ring I currently This one. It's a quarter ounce gold eagle from 2001. And I can't make this uh, very big. I'm pretty limited on the size I can do. I think the max size is probably uh, size eight. I have made one of these before. And I do have one on hand if someone's interested. But currently, that's the only gold I have. Gold is expensive to inventory. much um, you'd have to check on my website it's been a minute since I've looked at what what I priced that for but 
just uh, just go to the website, go to coin rings, and then go to uh, gold. Yeah, I only have that year on hand. It's uh, 2001. Now, if you guys would like me to work uh, on a, a gold coin ring for them, or for you, uh, you can... Uh, go to my profile and tap the get a quote button and and we can talk there on like finding the right coin for you the the problem with inventorying gold coins for rings is i can't really afford to have a bunch of different stuff but if you know which coin you want and you're you're ready to like go ahead and, and you have the funds to pay for it you know your ring size you know which one you want we we can work from there but as far as keeping something on the website, it's it's really difficult uh, to inventory gold coins. So if you do want a gold coin ring, like I said, go to my profile and tap that get a quote button and just tell me about uh, like what, what you're looking for. That way we can track down the year, the specific coin you're looking for, the size, uh, all that. Saying prices. I mean, all my prices are on my website, so... That's that's where where I usually direct people. Right on, sounds good. I'd be happy to make a gold ring for you. Absolutely. Thank you. I think they're pretty cool. Yeah, if anybody else wants to see my work, you can tap this gold chain or the link on my profile. Got lots of pictures of different types of coin rings I make. It's not just quarters. That's just what I'm making today. Don't rush me, Jeffrey. They already made one in like six minutes flat. Taking my time on this one. But seriously, though, no, you're fine, you're fine. I'm just joking around. If anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the chat. If you haven't checked out my website yet, the link is on my profile. I, I love doing lives. It's, it's a lot of fun. For sure. Just over the past month or so, I've, I've been really busy with my kids. You got a doming block? Noise? So now we're gonna take it from this cone shape and stretch it out to more of a ring shape. Yeah, so I've got my first, like, live craft show coming up. I'm really nervous about it. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to be able to make rings live there. Because, like, for example, this tool and this arbor press over here, they're both mounted to my desk. So, I'm like, do I just get a big piece of heavy wood that I can lay on a table and mount that. I don't know. I'm going to figure something out. So my copper clad quarter coin rings, like this one, are 25. 
90% uh, silver ones are 100. You can pick specific years as well as specific states. Ring sizes 4 to 13. Nice. So I got a three year old and I got an eight year old. Eight year old's in school. Three year old is at home. And he's a wild child. Bingo, bingo. Another one down. If anybody out there would like to order a coin ring and see it made on this live, you can visit my website right now. Go place your order and you can see the whole process. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep on making Texas quarter coin rings all day long. I'm pretty sure these are gonna be popular at the show. I usually make everything to order because most of my sales go through my website. This being the first time I do live sales, it's I'm kind of freaking out about like what inventory I need to make, how much I should have there. And I know I can't work on silver because I can't bring my torch. So there's that. Lots of lots of stuff to figure out. Anybody out there ever done a craft show? Got any tips? Let me know. I'm a noob. And I think if I just do this the whole time, just like make rings, it, it could go pretty well. But I'm gonna have to be doing all the checking out too. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about people getting sticky fingers, running off with stuff. And your products are this small. And it's pretty easy to steal. Brings pre-made silver coins with you. So I've got... I don't know. I've got a decent amount of, like, pre-made silver ones here that I can take with me. And I think I might do um, some silver quarters. And maybe some silver halves. Make make a couple of these 64s. And bring those. Again, the problem is is sizing too. Like I can't I can't resize silver at the show. So I feel like I'm gonna be pushing people to my website a lot and just being like, well you can get this particular ring on the website in your size and you'll get it you know in a week which I think is going to be kind of weird because people go to a craft show to buy something they can take home and so they can go home and buy something online but I just have so much more stuff on my website than I can bring to the show. And sizing stuff is going to be weird. I wonder if they'll be like 
Um, you can't hammer in here. <laughs> you can't. You can't be uh, defacing coins at our show. I don't know. So far, the ladies have been really nice. So we'll see how it goes. Where they sell rings? I've seen them use little displays with glass. Yep. I think it's a little too late. I don't think I can find one in the time I have. So I think I'm gonna probably get some more things like this, uh, individual like hand displays for them. Maybe some necklace displays. Make some harder to steal. Yeah. It'd be nice if I could get one. We got another coin ring maker in the house. What's up, dude? What's your favorite coin to make rings out of? Man, I've got butterfingers. I keep dropping this thing. Good. So what I'm thinking is focusing on like a few very specific products like targeted towards the kind of people I think that are going to be there. So I live in Texas. There's, there's Texans coming to the show. So I'm going to make quite a few of these uh, Texas quarter coin rings. And then a bunch of coin cowboy hats got dimes pennies and quarters and i'm going to make these into earrings and necklaces and keychains so i have like a cowboy hat space on the table texas uh, coin rings and then like signage that directs them to the website where they can see like fancier stuff. So like people will be able to do like a cheap impulse buy or like a more customized piece. It's a little more expensive. just have to wait for it. I'm also going to hand out free stickers. I think that'll be good. Everybody likes free stickers. I'm just trying to think of like maybe three more like lower end impulse buy things I could make. Or something something under 40 bucks that I can make just quite a few of and you know just have a couple of them on the table and quite a more quite a bit more underneath the table so I got like a illusion of scarcity situation that way I don't have all my inventory sitting on the table so it's easy to run off with. So, there's five. That's a good start. How many do you think I should make? Gonna be at least a hundred people there. Conversion rate of 1%. Says I'll sell one ring.
I think I'll make at least 10. How's it going, Bee Weave? 20, goodness. Let's make another one. Long time no talk. So I'm just discussing my uh, upcoming, my first craft show I'm gonna do here in about a week. And I'm just trying to figure out what to bring, what to make, how to set stuff up. There's a lot more that goes into this than I thought when I was like, oh, I'll just do a craft show that day. Oh, it's gonna be like a full week. I'm just prepping. Do I get coins doing live? Uh, so I'm way up in the panhandle. I'm doing good. I think it's going to be fun. I also think it's going to be a little nerve-wracking as I'm going to be up there by myself. So, like, if I have to go to the bathroom, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. But uh, we'll flesh it out. We'll figure it out. I'd like to make rings there, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that to work. No, just fraudulently altering coins is illegal. Uh, coins get removed from circulation daily. It's perfectly common. Have you ever seen a penny smashing machine? Disney World? Sea World? Yeah, it's pretty sharp. It's a good little cutting tool. called a deburring tool. I like it. The key is to go slower than you think you need to. I'll say again, anybody here ever done a craft show? Got any tips? Why am I ignoring you? No, I said, what's up, man? I said, how it's going? Mr. Moody. <laughs> I'm just busy, man. I'm making stuff. We get a lot of information people here I see. That's what you do when you do moon lives. Yeah, uh, there's, there. I would say it's misinformation. Maybe, uh, Mis misunderstanding, yeah. Misconception, that's it. If I try and set people straight. Actually, when I first started making these, I, I was almost certain it was illegal. And I uh, consulted with an attorney about it. And together we wrote a blog post that dives into the laws around making coins into jewelry. Uh, you can find that blog post on my website. But it is not against the law. Yeah?
I'm just making these at size eight so that they're easier to resize for men and women and just take them up to a nine or take them down to a seven or a six. If anybody watching would like to get a coin ring made by me, you can visit my website, coinringmaker.com. It's linked down my profile. And if I see an order come in during this live, I will make it right here for you. Pretty good deal. Well, I'm slowly running out of steam here, guys. So I think this is going to be the last ring for this live. I do appreciate you watching. We'll finish this one up and go get me some coffee. I might be back later. And if you haven't dropped a follow yet, go ahead and give me a follow if you want to watch more coin ring making content. For anyone who missed it, uh, thanks for watching. You can use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10% off anything at coinringmaker.com. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that real quick. Save it for later. You never know. It's a good coupon. Works on everything. Work forever. Yeah.
perfection. Was not a bad coin ring making session. We got seven knocked out in probably about an hour. Pretty good. Y'all have a great day. I hope to catch you next time. Go check out the website coinringmaker.com. Peace.